Okay, we're now in area three. Got our shotgun. We're hunting the name of the the dinosaur with the name I've already forgotten. Uh, Pachycephalosaurus, I think. I didn't even look at the menu. I should have looked and verified his name. So this is area three. Check it out. We've got lava. That lava will kill you, I'm pretty sure. That's pretty much it. That's this area. It's, it's the same as the other areas. There's lava now. Um, I imagine maybe some harder dinosaurs spawn here. This game selection is a little more limited than Carnivores 2, so you've got some of the same same ones. You've got the, the Paralophosaurus, Parasaurolophus, whatever. You know what? I think it's Parasaurolophus because I remember now when I when I said Paralophosaurus, I thought because the saurus should be at the end, and then I looked at it and I said, "Oh, look, it's not." Um, and we're talking years ago. I I I feel like I remember that happening while I was doing that other Let's Play. So I'm gonna I'm actually gonna switch now. We're going with Parasaurolophus, I think is the is the chosen that's what we're gonna go with. And it seems we have a one of our cooing little buddies uh, nearby. Sounds like a pigeon. Sort of. Uh, oh, and I was going to say my favorite thing about running this game on Windows 10 is that every time I leave the hunt, the game instantly crashes, uh, but I get to keep my points, so it's playable, but I have to... Uh, oh, he saw me. Is that even... Yeah, that's him. That's him, right? I thought it was an Allosaurus at first, and I was about to blow his head. I'm gonna blow his head off anyway, but I, I thought it was a big bad guy, and I was really scared. But it's uh, it's not. It's a little bad guy. I mean, it's a, he's not a bad He's a good guy. He's a big good guy. Um, I'm just a big, I'm the bad guy. I'm the little bad guy. Uh, but herbivores are, are nice guys. And that's why they always finish last. And that's why I always finished first, and also because I have a shotgun and I don't. Um, this is a different one. Sing me the song of your people. I must know where you are. I believe the wind was facing the other one, and so he saw me quite quickly. Or smelled me. He saw me with his nostrils and and uh, and ran away. Ooh, he's very close. Let me get down. Ooh, look at him. Ooh, he came over the hill. He's out of here. He didn't stay. Not even for tea. Come back here. Good lord, look at him go. He's so fast. Alright, I'm not gonna catch him. Well, it's okay. I'll sing to him a little. Calm him down. It's okay, baby. Come here. It's fine. Come back. Oh, somebody's singing. That's, that's fine. I don't need him. I can, you know, take my pick. As long as they don't mind being shot, it's, uh, it'll work out. It'll be a good match. Ooh. Ooh. What is that? Is that one of them? Yeah, that's one of them. Oh baby, he's looking right at me. He's coming right at me. Actually, they see off the sides of their head, so he's not at all. Ooh, uh, and that's all my ammo. Alright, well, thank you for watching. This has been MLG Carnivore Hunts 2018. Alrighty, here we go with round number two, four, three, something. Round two in this particular setup, anyway. Going for the guy I still haven't looked at the name of. I believe his name is Pachycephalosaurus. I'm pretty sure I'm just rolling off the tongue now. Feels like... Just when I was a kid and I remembered all their names, uh, feels right. So um, there's a Parasaurolophus over there to the east, but we don't want him anymore. We've got two of those in our trophy room now, which is more than anybody needs. These guys are a little harder to kill because uh, I just shot that tree. I treated, and you know what? That's one ammo. All right, we'll be back for round three. All right. Well, I forgot to change the uh, I forgot to change the area, so we're back in area one now. But uh, we are hunting our boy, the helmet-headed guy, and uh, yeah. So the in Carnivores too, you can get double ammo, which makes this a little less. Ooh, there's one. Uh, you know, I already killed one, so I should feel okay. But look at how do they just find out so fast? Man, he's just the hills have eyes. He just sees me. I'm on the other side of the hill crouching down and he just runs away. I guess he's smelling me. There's a Stegosaurus. Maybe I can get that dude. Let me just see if he wants a little action. Shut up. 
all the other dinosaurs in the forest are talking to me and I'm just I only have eyes for one right now. You guys little fatties need to get out of the way too. Uh, I'm not sure where I, in this game they all have sort of weak points. So uh, let's see if we can If you hit their weak point they will just instantly die. I suck. I suck. So I'm gonna switch to the expo next time. And we're gonna get that guy, and this is probably the end of the episode. I hope. Um, here we are, we're at level 3 again. Hunting for our boy for what seems to be the fifth time, or possibly the fourth time, but I believe was the fifth time. I'm not going to waste my bow shots on you, because you're too far away and you're already running. Like a butthole. So let's go see if we can trap him against this mountain side. Seems the mountain has already ended, so not much trapping potential, uh, unfortunately. There is, he's already forgotten who I am and coming right back. Here he comes. I don't even know if I'm hitting him. So that's another big nice thing about Car Wars 2. Shoot, Louie, I'm hitting the trees every time. Uh, in Carnivores 2, you hit them and they start leaving a blood trail and you can know if you're hitting the same one and it makes the game a lot easier to hunt the one you want and not get confused like I'm currently confused with three different animals talking to me at the same time. One seems to be in this direction and I hear yet another Paralophosaurus vying for my attention. Very popular with those guys. There he goes running! He's out of here! And he saw me through the mountain or he smelled me over the mountain uh, because the wind in this game just blows directly over the mountains. That's fine. Um, yeah, this is some Windows 98 programming right here. Uh, actually, this game is very fun. I, I continuously am ragging on it, but um, I like this one. Even, you know, as much as Carnivores 2, I think. We didn't play this one as much growing up. I think we sort of you know, we played this one for a little bit, and then I think this one had some problems or something. The sound didn't work quite right. And, uh, you know, the game is a little more advanced than Carnivores 2. You know, they, they don't have the... You don't have to hit their weak points into you. just got to shoot them. Um, to, you know, it's possible you can kill them in this one without hitting their weak points. I think their weak points are a little bit more interesting in Carnivores 2 as well. And this one, it's just kind of their heads is usually the weak point. This guy's weak point's kind of like in his neck or something. Uh, oh, you son of a bee. Son of a biscuit eater type character. I have just had it up to here with you. I've only got two arrows. And you just better die. Or, uh... Look, he did it! He listened. And he was worth eight points. And he's going straight in my trophy room. And the range of kill was 29 slash 23.7 meters. And the date was 13-10-2018, the Day of Champions, 22-11, Pachycephalosaurus. And now, I hope the episode is over, because you've gotten tired of watching Carnivores 1 already. But you have been asking me to play Carnivores for about six years now, so if you are waiting on it, I hope you're enjoying every, just every second of it. I hope you're on the edge of your seat, waiting to see what's happening. And, uh, I really do. And I hope you invite your friends and have viewing parties of me shooting these dinosaurs. Uh, and invite me, and I will come watch it with you. And in real time, I will talk over my bad commentary and give you uh, equally as bad commentary, but in person. Hey, look, there's another one. Yep. That didn't work out so good, but I only had one arrow, so... Alright, well, if that's the end of the episode, goodbye. If it's not the end of the episode, see you in about five seconds. And we're now at Area 2, hunting for the Stegosaurus, which is the third dinosaur on our list. Uh, this Let's Play is going to go pretty darn fast, except for the part where I have to hunt the T-Rex, which is not going to go fast at all. It's going to go very slowly. Um, yeah, so... Uh, but that's okay, because really... You know, we just want to get to Carnivores 2, right? I mean, who cares about Carnivores 1? This game sucks. Uh, so let's just get this one over. Um, I have a feeling it will probably take me a big long time to kill the T-Rex. Oh, you know, I think earlier I was... Shoot! Okay. Well, that was, uh, unfortunate. We've now had our first terrible, unplanned death of the Let's Play. 
with many more to follow uh, as we get to the harder dinosaurs and especially as we get to the uh, allosaurus which is next we're now hunting the stegosaurus yet again area two as before uh, i didn't get to play long enough to consider switching levels so let's uh, have at it again let's track some carnivores we're now at 31 points by the way uh, which is just great we were you know we've doubled the points basically and we're we're not quite classified as advanced hunter yet i wish i could show you the menu but i can't because whenever i open it uh, it records in some stupid little box in the corner and i just can't fix it and i can't do anything about that uh really at all because if i i see i could switch to it and record it and, and fix the size and then i would alt tab out and change the size again but I can't because every time I alt tab, the game uh, descends into uh, hell and doesn't come back. So, well, that was that was easy enough. Uh, Stegosaur is down, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed that hunt. Uh, very, that was very tactical. It required a lot of planning. I had to very carefully uh, trap him in this this grotto where he couldn't get away, and uh, every single step that let's play i knew he was there um i i carefully walked over here and uh, it was all 100 percent planned with with zero just zero uh yeah yeah uh so anyway there's the stegosaurus now let's go kill an allosaurus we're probably gonna have to kill a few probably gonna have to start farming them but i think you know that's more interesting than killing these herbivore guys, so let's let's go do that now in four seconds. So just for giggles, let's have a look at our trophy room real quick. Here we got our Parasaurolophus, which indeed I was, or Lophus perhaps, uh, that is um, 6.77 meters. He's a strong six points. We've got our, this one is seven points for some reason, despite being significantly smaller. He's 5.98. Let's see. He's 1.38 pounds, and this is 2.04 pounds. My range of kill was 23, and my range of kill was 22. So I believe that the range of the kill determines the score of the thing. So killing them farther away is perhaps the better way to do it. And here's our Pachy, Pachycephalosaurus. Cephalosaurus? I can't even read that because it's so white and weird. Uh, yeah, so 23.7 meters. We got our eight points here. And here's our big old boy, our Stegosaurus. He's seven points. And I've killed him from 30.2 meters. Uh, I felt like I was significantly farther away than that. Maple Story 2 has finished downloading everybody. 